So, hydro locked or compression release. You saw the flywheel turn just a little bit. Welcome back to Rayleigh's Small Engines. I'm T-Bone. What we're going to do first, we're going to pull the spark plug out this thing. Y'all come on down here where you can see what I'm doing. Because what we're going to look for is fuel coming out. Now, regardless of what we find, I'm going to still show you guys how to know if your compression release is working or not. We're still going to do that, so you're going to want to stick around. Let's pull this plug out. It's going to be hard to see around my hand here. But what we're looking for is to see if any fuel comes out of that spark plug hole. If it does, that tells us we've got carburetor issues. All right, ready? It's about out. It's about out almost. There it is. Okay. Well, that thing is dry as a popcorn fart, isn't it? It's burning pretty good, though. Not bad at all. So, let's crank this engine over now and see if she'll spin over. It should spin over really easy. All right, here we go. Let's see. She's spinning over really good. All right, let's pop the valve cover off. And we're going to find out if we got a bad camshaft or need a valve adjustment. One more thing to take note of. If you pull the spark plug out, gas comes running out, do not turn that engine over. Because that spark plug wire will spark and you're going to have a fire. And it is not going to be any fun. Four little bolts right here. I need to get a... Uh, mat and put under here so I don't get oil all down on the muffler. When you're doing these, it's always best to uh, raise the front end up higher and that'll keep from getting uh, so much oil up here once you get this valve cover clean and ready to reseal. Sometimes these will be in there. going to put a screwdriver up here. This one's sealed. Got the sealer and it's on there, buddy. Let's keep, work it, baby, work it. Nice and slow, trying to bend it all up because you're going to have to straighten it. Here we go. Look at her, look at her. Come off of there. All right. So, let's see if the compression release is working. Oh, those are pretty loose. Now, you can do the top dead center thing if you want to. Crack one valve open. This is a... T20. Um, crack one valve open. The other one, yeah, it's got a lot of play. Hit your lock nut off. Tighten up this nut until you've got a nice drag. Now, what we're setting this at is four thousandths. Now, I do nice tight four thousandths on intake. Excellent. And a little bit looser on the exhaust, but it's okay. It actually calls for, I think, four and six. You do it how you want to. This is how I do it. I'm wanting out too bad. Tighten our lock nut back up. Nice little drag there. Perfect. All right, now we're going to watch for a bump in the valve. As I turn the engine over, by hand with the flywheel you're going to watch these rockers and one of them should go it'll open and close and there should be a little little tiny little bump not fully open just a little bump let's watch does anybody see a little bump all right still turning still turning coming up on compression now we're exhaust. You know what, folks? Well, this customer's not going to be happy. No bump. Bad camshaft. So, just because I can, let's take the dipstick out. I got my old magnet on a stick. Let's see if I pull any pieces up out of there. Oh, yeah, I hear it. It just... It keeps dropping off the magnet. It's not, it's too big to come through the hole. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 
There's one little piece. See the little piece right there? Yep, bad camshaft. So the way we find the correct part, 31C707, 3346G6. And you may need the serial number sometimes for the code. So let's go look it up. So as you can see, I'm in parts tree. And we're going to go 31C707, trying to see around the camera. Dash, what did I say? 3346G6. 3346-G6. Enter. And here we go. I don't know if I got you on camera or not. Click on that one. And we're going right down here to camshaft and blah, blah, blah stuff. And let's see, where's cam? Where's cam? Right there, number 46. There's the camshaft. Now see, this superseded. This has got a new number, if you see right there. It's a new number. That's what you want to get. You don't want to go to Amazonian and, and wherever and get one of those aftermarket cams. They will not last. Uh, the lobes spin on the shafts. The darn things come apart worse than the brakes and scrap them, as Terrell says over there. Uh, so, anyway, we're going to have to order some parts for this bad boy. So, if you go to my YouTube channel and you type in Briggs and Stratton cam, and then this is going to pull up. That's the video you're going to want to watch, which will show you everything you need to know about a camshaft and replacing it. Yes, it's 35 minutes long. It takes a minute to put one in, you know. I'll put a link to that video in the description right down under here, you know, down there. So while you're down there, go ahead and click that subscribe button give us a thumbs up we'd really appreciate it we hope this video helps you guys out now go click on and watch that other video so you can put your camshaft in i gotta go order some parts so we'll see you soon thanks for watching